Hey guys, so in this video it's going to be part 3 of the Arch Linux installation. Now for those of you who haven't watched the part 1 and part 2, please have a watch first because that's where we are starting. So the first thing is of course, gonna log in and then as you can see it's still at 6.2.10 and i believe the up most up-to-date kernel now is dot uh, 11 so i'm gonna update first system by running pacman syu so 6.2.11 oh uh, as always the best thing to do is to upgrade this system first and then um, I'm gonna install a gnome uh, for this because it's a requested one and more specifically it's the gnome shell now if you go and look at the wiki arch wiki there are three which you can install that's the gnome gnome extra where it contains all the things basically a lot of things and then this gnome shell so since from the beginning we started with the minimal one so i'm just gonna install the gnome shell and then it's gonna be a gtm for the login manager so it's gonna be sudo pacman s Gnome shell. Now, this would take some time. It's a 173 packages. However, as you can see, the installation is um, quite okay. Valid. So I'm gonna post the video from here. Oh, so it was really quick. I was trying to get out of the <laughs> the VM and then of course you need to install the uh, GDM the login manager for the GNOME and once it's installed we can um, sudo system enable system enable that's just now GDM sudo systemctl enable dash dash now gtm and this should take us to the login manager so there you go so i'm gonna log in first and then as you can see there's basically nothing in here no terminal no no um, file manager so in order to get out of that, we need to, we can type in, uh, so we can type in control alt F2, uh, so control alt F3 to get out of the, um, to get out of this um, genome. So we can log in first or, or log in and then install the necessary packages. So that's gonna be sudo pacman s gnome terminal and then nautilus of course mm, and then of course we can install that one and then log in again there you go install um, we start GTM so we can go back to the login again and then login back so now we should be able to get the at least the terminal so we can install uh, anything so since we don't have any um, settings yet if I had him if I could see here so we can start by that so sudo pacman s kinome 
settings and then we also would like the you know me tweaks oh not fun mm, you know me settings uh, maybe oh it's you know me control center ah, there you go So once that installed, we should be able to get at least the settings. Yep, so now we got the settings. Appearance, for example, we can go with the dark. Picture we don't have. And then also we don't have any browser. So let's just install first Firefox. So we can at least download a pipe wire. I'm gonna use the pipe wire jack and then wire plumber and then I will use here the TTF droid because it's just much better for for me so I don't have to install any other um, fonts clear so let's just get a I skip that now so let's just say um, Kinome um, wallpaper yes we can just download any of this is 338 3443 okay so this is the default one but I think we can also download it Kinome wallpapers uh, arch. Yeah, there is Kinome backgrounds. So we can install that one instead. So sudo pacman s Kinome backgrounds. Now we should get all these Kinome. Um, So there you go. So now we got the at least the nice wallpapers offered by Kinom. And then we can change the settings, display settings. We can increase this to more readable. Ooh, too dark. Uh, to so it's gonna be dark yeah just keep it like this and yeah and then of course as for gnome we need a lot of the um, um, what do you call this um, dash to panel all that kind of things I'm not gonna put now I'm not gonna install the extensions but there's one extension there's one package which is good for for extension manager so we don't have to log in to the uh, through the browser let's see if we do, if we have paru here oh, so we have paru okay good we have paru so paru um Let's just say extension manager. And increase this. So I will install the one even though it's um, out of date just because it's it's much faster. You can also of course um, install the uh, git version if you want. But it's just to uh, have a startup. We can just uh, install the dash to panel and then of course the arc menu. This would take some time, so I'm gonna fast forward the video. All right, so the extension manager is now installed. I wonder why this one is not um, changing to Which is weird. I think I needed some more packages. 
So there you go. So we can just browse here. Dash. Dash to panel. Uh, there, install. And then, of course, the arc menu. Uh, arc. Is it arc? Yeah, arc menu. So now it's installed. That's not the one. So that's the panel. We can. Where's now the arc? Uh, extension manager. No. Application of Gnosia. So there's still a lot needed. Or Gnome menu. Okay. So let's install that first. Gnome menu. Not uh, menus. Yep. So I think we need to log in and log out in order to do that. Sometimes it's just that. There you go. So now art menu is here. All right, guys. So of course, custom and customization is entirely up to you. Um, I'm just showing you the um, the minimal way that you can install. Then you can just build one by one whatever you choose so you, so you don't have a extra packages not needed of course you can always install the um, Kinome extra if needed if you want the applications additional applications email client RSC client Kinome tweaks and set of games still so, yeah. the archman the arch wiki is your friend so okay guys so this should be it if you have any question please let me know and this will be the end of my arch uh, installation process manual installation process hope you have learned something take good care guys and see you again in the future